I'm medical. A vet. Look, I heard medical say shit too. Hey Jesse, you may want to fix your mic. Or what's medicine? The green snot that I used to um I I, I had once. Die die. Oh god. Ow! Fuck. Jess, fix your mic. Yeah, Jesse, you may want to do something. Or else it hurt. It will hurt people's ears in the stream. Oh and shit. Our ears um, too. Better? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh... It's actually Oh fuck. Okay. <laughs> Time to switch. <laughs> I like what I, what Miss Pony just said. Jess. Jesse, would you say you're a level four better? <laughs> yeah. She said something along with that. Jess has exited the app. Has excited. Exit the atmosphere. <laughs> Not excited. I said exit. Don't exit. said excited. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> that did some serious damage to Growlithe. Look what Jedi just said! <laughs> oh. I still think Michael Bag's Transformers were trying to take over Chessie's <laughs> <laughs> no, that would only be Soundwave. <laughs> oh god, I no. can't breathe! I you're dying on me. <laughs> I have- I am a giggly bee by nature. I cannot help it. <laughs> Woo! You're okay. the next giggle lord. Woohoo! <laughs> I am not a Screenplay giggle Screenplay learn slash. My my That's friends. Awesome. Hey, slash is a good move. Oh yeah. Yes, it is. It's a very helpful attack. <sighs> Gives good amount of damage. Mystic Rose. Eating. All right, hi. How are you doing? Mystic Rose. I love the name. It is a pretty name. And Garo, I already um, spoke to the officer. Let's see, if you were to form a boy band. Who would you be in? Planning to make an art piece with it. Um, I'm really Baxter Boys. Really <laughs> That's Am pretty I original? Yeah. Am I the My only God. one? Yeah. Am I sexual? Yeah. Am I everything you need to, baby? Rock your body now. And Everybody. Yeah. yeah. I know that song so well. I. Come on. No. Give me a little bit. I can, I can sen I can sense it in fucking steer rail. He's like, kill me. <laughs> kill me. I was. I had to <laughs> when I was ten, do an entire chore choreography dance to bye bye bye. And that Are just brings up memories. Oh god, that's horrible. That sounds so painful. I can already hear the crew. Well, imagine a bunch of 10 year old guys listening to what we consider a girl song and having to dance with it. We were all literally just groaning into our shoes. <laughs> I feel bad for you. As for me, when it came to that, that kind of stuff, I was more on the Spice Girls Fuck! more than Backstreet Boys. Yeah. That was funny. my sister. It's funny, because I even had- I made a birthday party themed off of the Spice Girls. When I think of Spice Girls, I think of that one scene from Small Soldiers when they're attacking the house with the, yeah. all the <laughs> tools and stuff. Yeah. Oh god. You rude child. Don't call me rude because I kicked your ass. <laughs> Okay, here's a funny, all, when I, this is a long time ago, time for some good old childhood memories. Um, when I had my birthday party Wait, themed up with the Spice like Girls. <laughs> I love that, my, um, I would like a cherry pie. She's my cherry pie. I like <laughs> chocolate oh, pie what instead. Was. What it's is wrong with you, Nightfall? Or pine what pie. What is wrong with you? Shush. What, 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 what did she say? I'm Perry Pie! I'm Piggy 
idea about my stuff, my food, okay? She. Yeah, Jesse, are you really surprised? She doesn't yeah. like ramen. No, I know that. That would that one was a trigger on me. It's like, how can you not like ramen? It's good. I would still. I would. I would actually choke. Like probably. Oh, yeah. I no. It's just. I love ramen. Yeah. She like not only dislikes ramen, but she likes her steak well done. Shut yes. up with that. <laughs> No! Don't bring that up, please. <laughs> and you're fair, and of course you joke about bacon. Bacon, no, the god I of didn't. foods. I didn't. The god of foods. You did, because you were mentioning about how fattening it was. You had to kill the moment. And even Why, Kiko how here. How do you remember that. this? Because it was. It was hilarious. Funny. One, it was funny, and two, it pretty much triggered. Everybody else, Even including Gold. Solar. Yeah. It triggered Solar very badly, though. Oh no! I love that after like I love that after a fucking like Nightfall was saying I don't like eat ramen and he's like Gah! he just starts throwing things around it's like get everything. I didn't mean to say that. I guess I like I now regret it because I actually like soup and ramen. So it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what does this TMO8 yeah. do? Ramen? I remember that yeah, so I, remember I can't eat ramen anymore after <laughs> eating it for two and a half years in college. Oh god, yeah, no, if you're I having the same that. shit over and over, holy shit. That's it's a standard case with me. I was poor as a fucking church mouse. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Feel real to be It was yeah, a time I'm... when I was... I was poor as a church mouse, eating ramen noodles mixed with celery and mayonnaise. You! Oh! Sounds good okay. up till the mayonnaise. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it, it kind of kills it. The celery thing yeah, is understandable it, it because they put that, they can do that, they use vegetables like that all the time in their ramen, so it's not a big deal. Chicken but flavored is best ramen. You know, the oh, kind of flavor I like from ramen is fucking, uh, like, steak. Ooh. Steak? Yes, steak flavored ramen. How is that a thing? That and that's always been a thing. thing. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you have made so all cool. kinds of food. I triggered golden. You did. That's the golden. Twilight flower, go to the fucking corner. God damn it. Oh my god. Twilight no. flower! No. Shame on you! Yeah, no, Shame I'm sorry. I, I'm so sick and fucking tired of the chicken joke. It was never funny in the first place. It's not funny no, now. No, because it was... Okay, first of all... I never it was, understood it, that joke. I don't no, know no, no, no. Just if you'll you let me explain. If you'll let me explain. It was, first of all, introduced into one of the worst episodes in the entire series. And second, <laughs> it's an insult to her disability. Exactly. Eat his... Calm down, Golden. Calm down. He got triggered really badly. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of was. Fuck! Oh, no, he's still triggered. Case and fucking point! <laughs> okay, Magikar Magical Star kind of fixed it. We don't eat Scootaloo, we eat Silver Quill. Oh! <laughs> no, no, <we> <laughs> Well, it made Golden laugh! That made him yeah, a little better! No. Kentucky Fried Soup. KFC Quill, man. With... KFC yes, quill. It makes sense with more sense with Silver Quill because of the- Fuck! Has more burn Why do you always have to miss? I don't know, don't maybe like they like me to miss. What?! Oh, oh suck my ass! No. <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> I'll up us too. I'll save that for uh, for a keyframe when she gets home. Oh, okay. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> this the silent quiet moment. It's, Golden. it's a rare okay. moment. I don't know if he was rea if he's trying his darkness to not overreact. Maybe he's just focused right now. Yeah, I kind of am. Okay. I knew it. Uh, okay, this is not going to do anything. This is not going to do justice. Um, Let's see. Screenplay, get your ass out there. What I made for dinner last night, it's rotini with ricotta cheese with pepper flake. Oh my god, I got to take a look at this. 
Ooh, sounds delicious. Oh, I'm so fucking jealous of you right now. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, that Ooh. looks delicious. That delicious. does look good. Mmm, good old pasta. That's a matter, that's a matter, hey, that's a matter for you. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I love doing okay. that. I like pasta. Dude, you're not gonna, Derek, you're not gonna need the pasta sauce if it's fucking flavored as hell. Yeah, they they had put some kind of spices in it to give it the flavor. Yeah, I'm gonna mm -hmm. be so excited to go checking out fucking um. Okay, so at like when I was at BronyCon in Baltimore, there's a place called um, Macaron no Noodles and Company, and they have such a variety yes. of like different um, like different noodles and shit. Like they have like my uh, macaroni and like different flavors of that. It's oh my god. There's a um... you know speaking, you know speaking of delicious food did you know that when BronyCon's going on it's also restaurant week in Baltimore Oh yeah really? because yeah no think about it they realize that a shit ton of people from all over the United States are going to come by they're going to make a shit ton of money So it yeah, was so the entire yeah. main street is all restaurant week which means the wallet is going into the front pocket. Yeah, because <laughs> when Bronicon yeah. rolls around and all those people come in, you know what that means. Money, money, money. <laughs> yeah. Money in the bank. They are going Show nowhere you near get. my money. wallet. My wallet is... No one's going near my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, go on. I wanted to add something to go along with the cha thing. thing. Okay. Money, 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 mother... <laughs> <laughs> Either that or, uh, what is it, um, I don't know who does it, but, uh, money in the bank. Show them what you just got my money in the bank. Yeah. <laughs> my theme song. My theme song. Yes, it's your fucking your theme, theme song. song. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny you say that because the stash for BronyCon is going to be omnipotent. Oh, you know, it's going to be stuck in my head, you know, throughout those days. How what? about that ice water? And it's only what? one dollar. That's gonna be the last time we see that dude. Yeah, I know the ice water guy. Holy shit! I'm gonna. Like, you know what? Like the entire con should just do something to thank that guy for serious. For real. Well, here's the thing. I was actually told that uh, that like he was offered so many different like things, but he actually refused. He said no. Yeah, I don't know why. Although I will tell you this much, I will pull out a dollar and actually get myself one of those waters. Oh yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> I might see. accidentally pull out a hundred, but yeah. You what? Oh. Yeah, go ahead and try to carry a hundred fucking bottles worth of water. God I'm damn. I don't think you, even your backpack would carry that much yeah, water no. bottles. That's all. No, no, that wouldn't work. Let's see. Another thing, there's another uh, place that I go that I want to try and check it out more. I haven't got a chance to check it out in this area in my side of town. Um, it's a noodle, it's also a noodle place, but it's more like um, the Asian noodles, you know? So, and they have like a little area where they also serve boba tea as well. Uh, or boba tea? Or bubble tea is what they call. They either call oh, it boba tea or boba tea. Oh, shit. God damn it. I should have gone but back yeah. and healed my Pokemon. Fuck! Oops. Good Otherwise, shame. I would have pulled up Pikachu and just completely whipped the ass of fucking Horsey. But yeah, Bulba tea is actually one of my favorite things to drink. And the thing is, I don't have a personal favorite flavor because I love them all. <laughs> um, I tried one that was... Uh, green tea and it kind of reminded me of a green tea frappuccino <laughs> that's to be right down to the last fucking pixel god damn it a big batch of our breakfast rice to the last couple of weeks rice scrambled eggs with some pepper bacon bits chopped wheat, new cooked in bacon grease Ooh. 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 yay Thank you. that sounds delicious Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's good. I want to go to KFC again, and I can't. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's the 
can't see in, like near the safe way that I go to. I don't... Okay, so it's in close range walk. where you can walk to. Yeah, it's close range where I can then actually walk. To walk. I can't because I don't have money for it. Oh, well, just steal it. <laughs> <laughs> what, the what the fuck are you I'm teaching this kid, Kiki? Oh, God damn. damn. I'm it's not going to steal anything from them or else I'll get arrested. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck, Kiki? God what damn, Kiki. <laughs> Is there something you're trying Rolls to tell us? Of hand. No. Holy crap. Damn. It Roll for sleight of hand. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You know what? Let's try another Pokemon. Uh, no, that will not work. Anyway, sight steal. Uh, I also Yo, uh, know how you feel when it came to like eating ramen constantly, because that was my case with Taco Bell. Yeah, it just. It gets to a point where you have it so much and you've had it so many times where it's just like, I can't do it anymore. I really can't. Right? Right? It gets so freaking annoying. It becomes more of a... Shit. Um, hassle. Oh my god. Just enjoying it. What? I mean, the only reason why I kept eating it was Not because I was poor. I was poor, um... and, the, and the only thing that made it better was the fact that I put one million Scoville hot sauce on it. Oh, hot sauce. Hot sauce. Alright, well, Yeesh. so much for that. Alright, time to bring back him. Where's the printer? It was just, yeah, no, it's just like, you eat something so many times, you just can't have it anymore. Yeah, no, this it's, room, yeah, yeah. Definitely no. the truth, yeah. That was me with Taco Bell, especially, because I was like, Oh, oh Jesse, you Bell. poor soul. Okay, here's the problem. Before I divorce my ex... We also had a little roommate where they always constantly, and I mean constantly, get Taco Bell. That's every the day. same for one of the past people that I had. They went to, um, like, Jack and Bots every time my mommy went there. So was the bathroom constantly <laughs> desecrated? <laughs> <laughs> or is what Aaron would say, it's starting to hurt when you eat Taco Bell too much at late at night. You wake up in the middle of the night and you have to vom. It, it, it wasn't you know feeling. Was you know it. Jack. Okay, well. Okay, yeah, you know, Jack in the Box will definitely give you, you know, the urge to fucking Hiroshima bomb in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Pearl Harbor. Away! Oh nah, man, God. not Hiroshima. Death Star. Yeah, <laughs> even, yeah, no. <laughs> I think we're killing Miss Pony over here in the stream chat. Ooh, we're, we're killing the, the myth. Let's see. Um, myth thing to live. There are a few places I miss eating all the time, mainly because it's hard to find them in my neck of the woods. One of them is a uh, burger joint called Wendy's. Ooh, I got a, a, there's a Wendy's nearby my apartment. I, my, my mom doesn't like Wendy's because the, 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 the patties are small. Oh, well, you can go charcoal briquettes. McDonald's is small. Yeah. McDonald's is also very, very. Unless you ordered the quarter pounder, then oh. it'll be small. No, they are not. They are still small. Honey, I've gone to McDonald's so many times. They are still small. Yeah, no. McDonald's is one of those fast food restaurants that I would just not want to recommend to anyone under any circumstance. Like, okay. There's every no. now and then, it's just like, if you're really, really bored and you don't know what to have, McDonald's is fine. I will tell you this yeah. much. Do not go for the McRibs. They're... McRibs no, are, do not. Do not. Oh, God. It's slimy. <laughs> it's... Ugh. They like, don't have it, enough condiments on them. <laughs> no, but, like, what they do, it's just one long fucking patty, <laughs> and they just get your body in the gutter. and they just That's fucking, they sauce. smother it in barbecue sauce. That's all they fucking yeah. do. I have a Wendy's, just a small walk from my apartment, and they have a touch screen soda fountain. 
Oh, oh I know what he's talking those about. places that I went to, I have the touch screen soda. Um, oh, those. Yeah, I, I think it. Uh, I think Carl's Jr. has the it Carl too. Yeah, the Carl Jr. and Jack and Bots also. Yeah. Okay. So the Wendy's is also like um across the street from a, um Carl's Jr. and next door to it is a uh, Panda Express. Ooh. Yeah. Good Boy. Panda. Panda, Never want to panda. Panda can uh, make you feel. Uh, it can definitely give you the shits. Make you spill. Spill <laughs> sick. Panda probably. Express can make it feel like Freddy Krueger's got his hand up in your gut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll bet it. I'll I'll bet it feels like it's got a fucking claw up your rectum. <laughs> I don't want to image that. What? Too late. I'm dead serious. I thought Panda gave me a uh, food poisoning one time. That was terrible. Oh. oh. I, had I feel poisoning. bad for you now. Okay. Here's a fun fact about me. I rarely got sick as a kid. Rare. I, Scott, I got sick as a kid because of the school kid not um cleaning their classrooms and stuff. Well, my case is, uh, the reason why I barely got sick is because I actually ended up gaining a strong immune system for my father's side. So while my sister and my mom ended up having ammonia, me and my dad were perfectly chill. I rarely got sick. Like, super sick. Mm. There was this one time... Now, there was this one time where we had... I ended up getting food poison because of some... One of the... Um, Whoa! I forgot what they call those kind Did of... Did you see Chinese what that guy guys. said? I like feisty kids like you? What? Um, no! I have several Stranger. questions. Stranger danger! Stranger danger! Stranger danger! Yeah! Stranger danger! Stranger danger! Uh, Stranger danger. Back! Back! Out of this house! Out, out of this, this house. house! Spirits be gone from this house. <laughs> meet, meet my friend. His first name is Bear. His last name is Mace. So what's your issue, man? Nightfall. You don't put enough condiments on the burger. Let me see your manager. <laughs> Excuse me. It's true about Fuck. the um about the uh, McRib. They don't put enough condiments on it. I love what well, Derek they, Brody said, they, yes. Either Derek, okay, okay, either Chris Hansen, Pop Squad, or Justin Payne. Uh, you know, I'm sorry, but the McRib is for it's 2 a.m., you are shit-faced, your Uber is not there yet to pick you up, you are walking in there because you have just four bucks in your pocket, you buy the thing that looks the greasiest to put in your stomach, and you eat it in the, on the sidewalk while you're waiting to get inside your Uber so you can go home and puke it out with the rest of the booze inside. <laughs> <laughs> no need to be bulimic there. <laughs> hey. Anyway, um, Don't I die. forgot what they call these kind of fast uh, Chinese restaurant places. Like, you order the food and they serve it to you in huge amounts and then you just head back home. I forgot what they call those kind. Um... Crap. Uh, not no, not, not Justin much. Payne Bieber Equestrian Guy. No, Justin Payne is a dude on YouTube who catches fucking pedophiles. Yep. And like he you was... like to sit down in the corner over here in this chair. No, like he doesn't even <laughs> fucking do that. No, I, okay, I will tell you this much. He caught one dude, a 42-year-old, who was expecting a 12-year-old late at night at a fucking grocery store. And as soon oh, as he God. approaches him... Uh, the guy pretends like he doesn't know English and tries to walk away. And Justin's like, you're a fucking liar. So when he tries to, like, uh, get away in his car, Justin is literally riding on the back of the car. And the, uh, one of his friends oh, is I on the camcorder. Yeah, Jesse saw it, but I sh uh, Steel Rail. He literally, like, drove a few ways. And he fucking, like, eventually, he's, uh, like, the dude just gave up. And Justin just <laughs> screamed and yelled at him, saying, I want you to remember my fucking face, you asshole! I never watched that, so... Well, I, Knight, I, I you're too young to, know, like, watch that stuff. Because yeah. it's, it it's, it, it, it's terrifying for you. Yeah, it's very disturbing. Yeah. It ain't your thing. <laughs> nope. No. Anyway, um... Go ahead. Going to continue what I was... Uh, my story. Uh, we, um... We had the Chinese this one time. Um... And my oh. mother and my sister and myself ate, uh... 
like we had a good amount of rice it was fried rice somehow I think they did not cook it properly because the next day all three of us got food poison oh, I got it worse because I ate more rice bad. All I ate, I was wor I was the worst case because I ate I had more rice you know what? ate more rice than the rest of my family so I was sick like, I, when I get sick you'll know I'm sick because I look like I am dying that's how bad I get because when I get sick I look like I'll be close to facing <clears throat> death's door because I am so flipping miserable us sailors have Pokemon too well no shit Sherlock everybody has Pokemon I don't <laughs> I don't get sick that often, but when I do, I still go to work. That's the that thing about me. Perfect. Like, okay, the thing about me and sickness is that, um, th like, most of the time, I just get colds. And when I get colds, like, I, it's not even chicken soup. I fucking put yeah. spice and pepper all over it. Get the I'll shit put, out of yeah, my body. I'm, I know. What I, you um, do with that. funny enough, actually my remedy for getting rid of a cold and this works for me it might work for other people is i take a, a good sized tablespoon of hot sauce oh, oh that's cool. you take it directly that is fucking yeah, hardcore I take it straight to my face i take it straight to my face and my nose runs so much that it actually cleans my sinuses out oh, okay what what brand is it like is it tabasco sauce habaneros or what um, no, Dave's scorpion pepper. Oh my uh, god! Uh, no wonder why! Jesus! <laughs> I, I'm a I, spice I'm lord, dude! I am encouraging. I am Your new title is Spice Lord. Spice oh, Lord. Oh god! No, uh, I, I would still say Money in the Bank, man. I am cringing. I am so cringing at the thought. I can't handle spicy food, so that I just cringe. Oh, I have a collection. I collect hot sauces. My spiciest one is 9 million Scoville unit extract. Oh, oh my wow. fucking I think I've God. heard of that one. I got an uncle who does this, who used to do the same thing. Like, he loves his hot sauce. That, that small little vial was 150 bucks. Ha! Ha! <laughs> The cringe yeah, is powerful but, in this one. It's not the. It's not because of the spice. <laughs> Fight it's fire, fire, the money motherfucker! He had to pay. He, the freaking money he had to pay for it. Holy crap! And I mean, it's it's not meant to be taken straight. It is meant to cook with, but that does not stop people from taking toothpicks oh, out of it. Oh my God, Jedi! Boo! Too much spice will what? spice up your life. You! Oh, oh shit! I shouldn't have brought him forward. Oh. God damn! What the fuck is wrong with me? Uh, oh, this one might work. Jedi, poo! Go to the corner. God damn! You know, just try harder. Way to spice up your life. Slam into a slim gym. Eat oh, me! <laughs> I remember I those one. fucking ads. You know the the the, the oh, '90s ones God. where. Some guy who's in the suit who like who fucking acts like Jim Carrey. He almost looks like Jim Carrey too. He just runs around. Yes. It's supposed to implicate like what is in the stomach. And at the end, there's the um, the freaking Slim Jim logo, and he pops out and goes, "I oh, hate me." There was oh this my one god! That happened. I'm not... Okay, there was this one from that same co type of commercials where a girl ended up eating it, and then uh. <laughs> He started reacting badly to the how pink it looked inside because of the girl fact. Season so. the Wiccan, no, I am not working for the Mafia, but I am connected. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> um, I have several should, questions. Should, should we be worried about... Yeah, I'm connected with a... I work for a hospital, so I... Oh, never mind then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this makes it say, what the heck? Anyway, uh, that one, he of course, the and then he, uh, eventually he spots these two women that are dressed as types of vegetables. And, uh, <laughs> what do you think he said is an obvious innuendo? Yeah. Because he says to one of the girls saying, I would wear a turtleneck tomorrow if I were you. Uh... <laughs> 
That's one of the one old commercials where the dude, yeah, it goes into the girl's stomach, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was that, it was that one. I remember that so well because it was so freaking unexpected joke. Adult humor in its finest at that moment. I was like, ah! In the window, much? <laughs> I know, right? Ah. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oof. That part. I had to check with my mom. She was yelling. She was yelling at the cat because he kept keep whining about food. Oh, Magical Star has asked you a question, Steel Rail. What did boss say about mentioning connections? Or, if you were in a hospital, no. does that mean you're a doctor? No. Not a doctor. I am training to be an MLS. Oh, cool. I'm the one you... who... I'm the one who the doctor gives the samples to, and he begs me to tell him, what does this person have? <laughs> I think you and my mom could get along. She watches a lot of those ER-related TV show programs. So she definitely... I gotta turn on the AC. Stories. It's fucking warm. Yeah, no, I'm the guy who gets all of the nasty samples and all of the blood, who runs the tests on them and says, Listen, Doc, this person has this. Help them, they have this. Yeah, I know what and then exactly you're them, talking about. And then it's up to them to be like, Eh, no, you're wrong. It's like, no, I'm not wrong. I did the tests, I'm right. Yep, that's myth that's right, Myth Pony. That's basically the the, the actual truth. They are the considered the most important person in the whole hospital. Are you the one that deals with everyone's pee cup? <laughs> yes, I am. Oh my God. Yes, I am. <laughs> I've seen every single consistency, color of piss under the rainbow as much as Lucy's hair. <laughs> I'm just gonna annoy oh that sir. <laughs> I do with all the nasty stuff that people don't want to do. I'll tell you this much. Oh, I'll bet you. Awesome. Yeah, no, Myth Pony, it's definitely <laughs> mad respect, and on the plus side, you make a shit ton of money. Oh, Hey, Drew. it comes with a price. It comes with a massive price. <laughs> yeah. And that's, uh. No sleep and no life. Exactly, because working at a hospital, they work many, many hours. Some don't even. Some people stay in the hospital for freaking almost 24 hours a day. It is but yeah, yeah. but yeah, basically, I'm trained to be the guy who gives the final decision. Who says, she has this, she's got leukemia, we need to treat her now. That's, oh my I'm the one who makes that decision. What? Oh, shit. What is yeah. it? <laughs> Poor question guy. <laughs> Poor question guy is reacting badly to this. Oh. <laughs> Equestrian guy needs a hug. Send him hashtag hug equestrian guy, guys. He uh, needs a hug. <laughs> Give him a hug. He needs hugs. <laughs> I have some relatives who are nurses and they told me about their hours. Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, nurses, they work oh, harder nurses. than I do. <laughs> and the nurses get the harder end of the stick. Cause they yeah, no, they definitely do. They, without a doubt, they do. You know, the idea they of you, like... They do with the crazy 